In this lesson, I'll show you how to find the Laplace transform of a second derivative. The question reads, transform both sides of the second order differential equation y double prime minus three times y prime plus four y is equal to five t if y at zero is equal to six and y prime at zero is equal to seven. I'm gonna start with y double prime and I'll use the following relationship to model that. So we're told that the Laplace transform of y double prime is equal to s squared times the Laplace transform of our function, which is y, minus s times f at zero minus f prime at zero. So I'm gonna replace this with s squared times the Laplace transform of y minus s times f at zero, which in our case is six, minus f prime at zero, which is seven. So this part's taken care of. Now I'll move on to minus three y prime. For that, I'll use this relationship where the Laplace transform of y prime is equal to the following relationship to its right. So we have minus three, this number, bracket, s times the Laplace transform of y minus f at zero, which is six. And finally, for this term, we have plus four times the Laplace transform of y. This is equal to five t, and remember, the Laplace transform of f at t is equal to the integral between zero and infinity. Therefore, the right side will be the integral between zero and infinity for f at t, which is five t times e to the power of negative s t dt. Now if I move this five outside of the integral, I'll end up with five times the integral between zero and infinity for the function t times e to the power of negative st dt. Now instead of going through integration by parts for this function to find its integral, I'll use this list of known Laplace transforms. And if you look at number six, we're told that if our function is t times e to the power of negative st right here, this is our answer. So we actually have on the right side, five times one over s squared, which when multiplied gives you five over s squared. So to clean this all up, let's rewrite this. We have s squared times the Laplace transform of y minus six s minus seven, that takes care of these three terms. I'm going to multiply negative three into these terms to its right, so we have negative three s Laplace transform of y plus 18. Then we have four times the Laplace transform of y is equal to the right side. Of course, if you wanna clean this up further, you can combine negative seven and 18. That will give you positive 11, and that's it. That's the answer to the following question, and that is how to find the Laplace transform of a second derivative.